Hi, we're Ian and Julie. Follow us on our tiny homestead and our debt-free project of a lifetime, the building of our shipping container home here in the Pyrenees, and all of this alongside our full-time jobs. I've quickly come back to the workshop to trim up these rebars. I'm going to just cut them into thirds. These were what we used to use on the uh, the fence, the safety fence, but we've swapped those out because uh, the rebar is actually more expensive than the uh, fiberglass poles we've just replaced them with. So um, these will be our uprights into the dirt to give us the level of the concrete. So I'm just going to get on with that now. to 24 I've got 14 and 7 21 that should be enough so they're going to go about every one meter um, yeah should be good to go right back to the plot get them in and leveled off I love this machine but it's the ugliest thing. Whoever designed it, well, shame on them, he's ugly. Tomatoes! Look at all these cherry tomatoes, they're everywhere. Seeds must have come down from the drain or something off the road. See, we've got this, we've got this drain just there, look. So these seeds must have washed down the road or something. There's it one with them, they're nice. There was, I saw a few cats over here earlier. Added flavour. One of the things we need to get up here now is uh, water. So you saw the other day that we brought up uh, the first uh, IBC container. I'm just gonna level that up and get it all settled in. And um, we've just brought up two thirds of the other IBC and we're gonna pump the water from that one to that one and see how it goes. Take a little bit out of there, yeah. just a tiny bit of scrape.
brand new. I've got my knife. And I've got this little, uh, just it's just a hose attachment. It's only a cheap one to begin with. And then I'm gonna uh, get a nice proper one. Nice brass one. Let me get do it properly. Well, it is properly, but you know what I mean. Totally not sponsored. We bought this with all our own money, but if EcoFlow are out there, oh, this allows us to run the pump. interesting for us to find out how long the battery on the EcoFlow lasts because we've never used it before it's the first time we've used it so we brought it up the first job for the EcoFlow is to power our water pump which is pumping out the three-quarter full IBC unit on the trailer into the empty one behind me and we're one square deep and we've got two more to go so we'll just keep an eye on it and see how long it lasts I'm just uh, cutting these in half basically, they're six metre lengths just so they're manageable to get them in the vehicle so we can get them back to the workshop because uh, I want to transform them into J-bars. Absolutely pouring down with rain outside. We've probably got two days of it. Um, so we took the opportunity yesterday evening to grab those rebar from the build site, come back into the workshop, and we've got to make up 80 or 90 J bars that are going to be the, uh, the vertical structure of our steelwork for the wall. So we're going to work as a team, get the, uh, these three meter sections cut into uh, half, so they're one and a half meters each, and then put on a 35 centimeter um, tail, a um, bend on them um, using the bench vise and a big oh, bending bar. So we're going to get on with that now and uh, hopefully start the install this afternoon when the rain disappears a little. Oh, fingers crossed. Oh, no. We're on deadline now because the concrete <coughs> arrives on Tuesday. <coughs> yes, it's all booked. Last week.
putting a little marker. Hopefully it'll stick. <laughs> so that is 35 uh, centimetres. Also marked it on my, uh, my bending bar, just in case. So I put that up there. First one in. I'm sure we won't be exact every time. It doesn't matter. Bend. And once it's in the concrete, we should be able to bend it vertical, but it's just to, to get an idea. So that's perfect. And then off to the pile. Well, I think it's been going for about an hour now, pumping away. Um, the EcoFlow is working perfectly. It's got uh, two hours, 22 left, 67% um, of battery. So we'll easily be able to do a whole IBC tank. So I've got this little back cover in the meantime, um, just so people aren't looking at uh, you know, a steel white IBC container. I've got this black cover I'll put on and it just hides it. We don't want to uh, annoy the neighbours too much and we want to keep everything on the site tidy. should be helping not filming. Might not have as such longevity as our ones on the homestead, but just a job for now. It's cheaper than the plastic, isn't it? Oh gosh, yeah, that plastic was really expensive. Oh, that looks smart. Pretty pleased with that. One of those things that you wake up at four in the morning and uh, start worrying about is uh, how do I get water to site? But uh, I think we've sussed it now with these. Um, it's all gone perfectly to plan, so we're pretty happy. We'll go and fill up the rest of it, and uh, when we come back tomorrow to start all the metal work, um, we'll just let it run. Right, let's get off to the builders' merchants and get some more uh, bits and bobs for tomorrow morning because it's going to be a long day.